Sugarland Blue Sunday shout out. This is Dave. I'm Ashley of Sugarland Blue, and this Sunday shout out is going out to DNO Media. Dino? Dino Media. Hope you enjoyed your shout out. We'll see everybody next week with another one. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell so you never miss a shout out. We'll see you next week. Bye. Shout out. Jawa junkyard shirt because they take everything to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Good one. Thank you. <laughs> I like that you had a themed shout out. I did. Shirt. Yeah. Yeah. On I didn't purpose. even tell you about it till nice. just now. Yeah. Just now. Well, I wore my shirt. It's Beat Farm. Because we're going to Pennsylvania this week, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. We are going to Pennsylvania I this know. week. That's going to be exciting. It'll be. We will be back. By the time the shout out airs. <laughs> but Dang it's this it. week, I know. <laughs> Weird. So Patsy Klein. We're time jumpers. We're not time jumpers. Amazing. We're here there we're here before we're there. But it's yeah. after but it's after we're but there. But it's after that. Yep. Quantum Yep. Physics Quantum or something. Physics right now. Everything's happening all at once. <laughs> time doesn't exist. It's a social construct. Oh. Is it social? Is that why we do time? Yeah. So tell me, Patsy Klein seems like she always seemed like one of those. When I was a kid, she was like a legacy artist, like, um, yeah. like almost like a Frank Sinatra or somebody that was like well respected from the past. I think, sadly, 
because her life was cut so short, it's it's one of those scenarios where there wasn't enough chance in the spotlight to have scandal. Not that she would have had scandal, but right. it's kind of like she, you uh, don't have the longevity to create scandal. Is she a member of the 27 Club? I, you know what? I was wondering that myself. I think she was not, but she was relatively young. I didn't know that she passed young. Yeah. That's not anything I knew. Yeah, like mid mid stride in her career too she had just i only really like i remember so i guess she's maybe a 50s artist early 60s i'm not sure exactly i know that my every time i hear patsy klein it reminds me of my grandmother it's like you know yeah it's that generation i yeah, guess my grandmother like patsy klein yeah she has such a unique very soulful what was considered a country voice at the time. She was a country artist. Yeah, she was definitely a country artist. I think Nowadays, that, uh, I think she would fit into the Americana category, though. Or pop, maybe, almost even. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine Patsy Cline, like, Lady Gaga got up? Yeah, right. Amazing. Too funny. So, she is, um, I don't know very much about her, I guess. You know, I should probably, like, explore more. But I like all the songs that she does. Mm -hmm. I, I always think it's fun to do her songs. Yeah. And we've done, this is the third or the fourth one. Because we've done I Fall to Pieces. And we did Crazy. Crazy. Walking and After Midnight. Because we play Walking After Midnight a lot. We play that regularly. Like at our yeah. shows. I feel like we played another one, but I can't recall. And this one, this would be four, but. And then, um, yeah, there was another one. Oh, I see the pyramids cross the Nile. What's that? Did we end up doing you that? You belong one? to you me. You belong to me. Did we end up doing that? Yeah, one? that was a really good one. That was a lot of sometimes, fun. Sometimes we've done so many shout outs, I sometimes don't remember. Did she? Is it still on the list or are we going to? So gonna my do... question is this Did Patsy Klein record any songs that weren't hits? I don't, I guess I'm I wouldn't sure. know because I've only listened to her hits. She's probably one of the few artists where I've never. I listen mean, to her full catalog. Like, a, like if I listen to a full album of her, like because even the albums that were out probably when I was younger, a lot of them were greatest hits. Do you know Little Things? Little Things was a pretty big hit. I think maybe I'm not sure. Um, it's like she, I've got your class ring. I've got your class ring that you used to wear. I don't know that one. No, it's like I've got all these little things, but she's got you is the whole sentiment of the oh, song. Maybe. I've got all these little mementos, but she's got you. Yeah. Very melancholy kind of thing. I often wonder about Patsy Cline because I've seen pictures of her, mm -hmm. you know, and I know how well she was respected with the uh, female population of our grandparents' generation. Yeah. And I know that also she was one of the first really solidified country female art artists yeah. that had major hits, you know. She was a major female hit maker. Mm -hmm. And I can't help but think that and that it was a women's liberation movement at the time. You know, I can't help but think that, like, women wanted to identify with her because it was, like, a thing. You know, it was, like, a um, a source of inspiration. She yeah. was inspiring, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. And that's that's what I think of when I, I think of Patsy Cline. I think of, like, she was at the forefront of a movement, maybe, and I don't even know if she knew that. I feel, I feel similarly, and it's weird because I liken her in my mind, along those lines, to Amelia Earhart. Like, yeah. they hold a similar... She's a female pioneer, really. Yeah, you know? and I she mean, also... Other women, obviously, we lost helped, her early you know? on, kind of a thing. It was yeah. never any one person, probably, on any of the movements that we have and we, and we aspire Insp inspiring. to. Inspiring. That's you know? the thing. You but need inspiration. somebody inspirational in all your demographics yeah. if you're going to have a successful movement. You need to One person that can far. inspire many. Yeah. You know, and then if you have eight or ten people in a movement that inspire many mm -hmm. then you have especially a movement, once again you know? if you have in different demographics because not everybody is going to be everybody's cup of tea i know we're not patsy klein wasn't even though she was phenomenal do you find it odd that that's the case like when i was a child or a teenager i used to think that how odd is it that we look to musicians and sports stars and actors to set trends for the rest of the population like oh he's wearing levi's i want to wear levi's yeah. i was like how odd is this it is odd but yet strangely herd mentality where everybody wants to do that i found even as a teenager that i wanted to break off of that like my friends were wearing certain things and i wanted to wear renaissance clothes to school <laughs> 
But only so much sometimes, right? Yeah, you know no, I, mean? I still wanted to fit in because it's kinda, dangerous not to. You still kind of have that tinge when, you know, the, the, uh, somebody else that's maybe like, you know, a little more popular than you walks in and they're wearing like the 80 or $90 pants yeah. that are like the thing. Yeah. You know, the, and they're the thing because Tom Cruise is wearing it or, I you think, know, uh, or for, Patsy Klein's wearing it. I don't for, know. For me personally, <laughs> it would be less of a, that thing looks cool. I wish I had that thing and more of a, I would like to have the financial stability to not worry about what that thing costs right. if I truly like it. Yeah. Do I truly like that? Do I like the way I feel in that piece of clothing or um, in in those shoes or whatever? Do I really like it? I guess I've always been sort of inside of, yes. of that for myself. And I think it's like a little bit of... Um envy for the situation but as you grow yes. older you start to understand that like everybody has their own position and that just because somebody has a pair of pants or has a certain thing they can definitely not um be as wealthy yeah they can in, be, other, in facets, other ways yeah. they can you know they can struggle with lots of other things i think we are know. all poor and wealthy in our yes. own rights like we have we have our uh, own stock exactly yeah yeah. Yeah. Well put. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I and I would much rather be wealthy in the kind of. I, I guess it's kind of come cliche nowadays, but like the wealth of friends and knowledge and comfort in those kind of ways, other than um, just financially wealthy. Yeah. You know, or financially yeah. comfortable. I guess you could yeah. say. You know. Now would I would I enjoy the peace of mind that would come with a little more financial income? Absolutely. Of course. But I feel like I would rather put my stock, as you put it, into our family and uh, into our music and things of that nature. If if it's one or the other. I mean, I think you have to, you have the way the world's set up. You have to have a certain amount of wealth to survive because yeah. you know the saying, "Money can't buy happiness." Yeah. But on the flip side of that, money can buy food. Yes. And it can buy clothing, it can buy shelter, and also, that's a lot though, of the same things. <laughs> that's not all there is to it. We have to remember to feed into our soul economy. Yes. We all have a soul economy, and if we're just working on the physical, we're leaving some major parts out. I feel like music really fills a lot of my soul economy. Yeah, I think that sometimes it's, it's, like you said, it's a trade-off because... You know, maybe we invest a little bit more in our heart and our soul currency than in our financial currency, you know, but we could probably sell our souls a little bit and work the nine to five in another year and make a little more money and go that route as well. Yeah. You know, so yeah. it's all what you choose to do, I guess, in life. And I hope that no matter what people do, they, you know, that they find some type of happiness that they can find in it. Yeah, I'm grateful for our economy. Absolutely. And I think that, um, you know, life's beautiful and it's a chance to experience a lot of different things and that other people are out there and they may be um, struggling with different kinds of things than we're struggling with, you know. Yeah. And uh, it takes courage to change and invest in your economy. Yeah. And or invest in a different economy because, yeah. like, you get comfortable and it's the way you know. Yeah. And then maybe you're afraid to try a different investment, but yeah, you know maybe you just need to do that for your own peace of mind. Sometimes, yeah, some people. Some people don't lay off the brake. Don't lay off the gas. What is it? Lay off, lay off the brakes. Yeah, step on the gas. Lay off the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Laying off the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs>